surprise, Big Daddy's back. Ron. What are you doing here? I'm over at GNN. I'm living in the city again. I, I really wish that you would have called first. Look, it doesn't matter whose fault the breakup was, okay? I was stubborn. You were all slutty with Mac Tannen slinging your ass around in that office. I played it with calm, cool integrity. But who cares? We're not keeping score. What's your point, Ron? The point is... I'm back home. And I want to spend the rest of my life... Honey, who is it? Hi, Ron. I'm Gary, Veronica's lover. It's okay. It's the 80s. She's your ex. She's my lover. Let's go inside. <laughs> Why are you smiling so much? Because I'm happy. Because we're lovers. <laughs> I'm sorry. No one's that happy. Would you like to come in? You want to come in? Great. I have no problem with your situation. successful psychologist in all of Manhattan, Ron. Sweet. Are you reading my mind right now? Ron, do you even know what a psychologist is? Yes. Yes, I do, Gary. Uh -huh. You perform in nightclubs with a dummy on your lap. You make his, his mouth move. It's so believable. I actually have respect for your talent. I don't know how you do it, because you're talking out of the side of your mouth, and yet it sounds like the dummy stuff. You bring that dummy to life. Do you really think that a psychologist is a ventriloquist? Externalizing, that's okay. No, it's not okay. He's mad. You knew I was going to throw that punch. Because you're reading my mind. Mom, I'm home. Hey, little darling. Hi, Walter. Hey, Dad. I missed you. Walter, your father has a gift for you. I have a gift specifically for you, Walter. There's a little card on there. You want to read it, kiddo? Yes. Show us how well you're doing in school. To my dearest sex angel. Okay, I actually no, believe on. that that's for me. Let the boy finish. <laughs> I There's long more. once again to be intertwined in your limbs, exchanging hot breath with you. I want to have another child with you. Mom, I didn't know little boys could have babies. Oh, no, darling. I, I believe that that letter was for someone else. Go ahead, open up your gift. Okay, that's actually I, for me, Walter. No, it's, it's not. It's for Walter. It's a superhero costume. <laughs> what is it? It's Lace Man. It's a brand new superhero. I'm gonna be Lace Man. Look, okay. Ron, joint custody isn't easy, but what we need to do is rally around this little guy right now, okay? That's never gonna happen. Excuse me? You, Veronica, are unfit to be a mother. Oh, need I remind you, Ron, that you try to put our six-year-old son on welfare. He's a perfect applicant. He's unemployed. If it wasn't for us, he'd be homeless. Do you ever hear yourself? All right, let's keep it civil in front of the boy. It's bad enough. His mother pulled a train on Kiss. Oh, I was in college. Get your things off. Fuck. Let's go. I'm out of here. You don't have to tell me twice. Get your things. We'll see you guys later. Yes, you will. Goodbye, Dad. Thanks for the present. Goodbye, Walter, my little man. You promise to do good in school, okay? 
Okay. And stay away from the he she's down Ron. in the Bowery. <laughs> Ron, I don't think that's appropriate. I tell you, those fellas, they got the looks, they got the curves, they got the chichis, they smell great. And then at some point in the evening, you realize Jacqueline isn't Jacqueline. <laughs> she's a Jake. Okay. Then you got a decision. Are you going to be rude or, or belly up to the bar for a couple more belts and make the best of it? You hear what I'm saying, Walter? Yes, I do.